Welcome back to our channel, gamers. Today, we're diving into the world of Exoprimal, a game that had so much potential but unfortunately falls short in several areas. I sure wish I liked Exoprimal, and in this video, we'll explore why. Let's jump right in. Exoprimal offers an intriguing concept, a team of friends battling their way through dinosaurs while completing objectives. But despite its ambition, it's abundantly clear that this game is being held back by unfortunate choices. First, let's talk about the convoluted plot. It involves time bubbles, sentient AI, and a never-ending loop of battling dinosaurs inside giant robot suits to gain information to build better giant robot suits. It feels contrived and confusing, lacking a cohesive and engaging narrative. As for the gameplay, Exoprimal falls into the live-service hero shooter category. Each player can choose from different exosuits, each with its own abilities. The goal is for the team to pick the right combination of exosuits to support each other. Tanks, healers, glass cannons, we've seen it all before. The addition of dinosaurs does add some excitement, but even my inner paleontologist couldn't save me from feeling like this concept would have been better suited for a single-player Dino Crisis title. One of the biggest strengths of team-based shooters is the importance of teamwork. In Exoprimal, teamwork is crucial for success. Players are encouraged to work together, pick appropriate supporting classes, and use their powers in tandem to assist each other in hectic moments. When everyone is firing on all cylinders, it can be quite enjoyable Dino slaying mayhem. But if even two members of your team stray off course, it's likely that all of you will suffer the consequences. Multiplayer gameplay in Exoprimal follows a series of challenges, most of which revolve around following a glowing line to reach different areas. Players clear out dinosaurs along the way and move on to the next zone. The twist is that translucent images of the other team are overlaid on the screen, indicating if you're completing challenges faster or slower than them. Finally, both teams are transferred into a separate map for the final challenge. This is where things get interesting, as the teams are finally in the same place. Objectives may vary, such as capturing a base or escorting a slow-moving object. The key difference is that now the five players on your team can impede and attack the other team. The addition of dinosaurs and the advantage given to the team that finishes first adds a layer of excitement to the final round. However, there are several limitations that dampen the fun. Players can only become dinosaurs for a limited amount of time, and while it may be exhilarating to unleash havoc as a T-Rex, it leaves the rest of your team at a disadvantage. Communication between teammates becomes crucial, and if all five players aren't completely focused, things can quickly go downhill. Another issue is that Exoprimal falls into the pattern of online multiplayer live service games. It comes with purchasable accessories, player levels, survival passes, and that dreaded menu screen. It feels out of place in 2023, where players crave innovation and fresh experiences. In conclusion, Exoprimal had the potential to be a fantastic game, but it falls short in delivering an original and engaging experience. The convoluted plot, lack of original gameplay mechanics, and limitations on fun hold it back from its full potential. While some players may enjoy the team-based mayhem, it ultimately feels hollow and disconnected. Thanks for joining us today as we explored Exoprimal. Don't forget to subscribe.